Hey everybody, welcome back to more. We're in our outdoor kitchen. You know, uh, first Friday of the very popular event down in the uh, Arts District is a couple weeks away, but you know, you don't have to wait till then. You could, there's activities going on all the time down, uh, and uh, we have Taverna Costera, the restaurant, the famous restaurant down in the Arts District to talk about uh, some of their uh, vegan dishes. That's Among right. other things going on, also um, some uh, bottomless brunch cocktails we'll talk about in a second. We have uh, Leo, the executive chef, Leo Herbius, and bar manager, Alan Schleich, to talk about uh, both of these activities. How are you guys? Good. How are you? Well, uh, I am good. Is the fire helping out? It's, uh, yes, it's actually <laughs> doing pretty well. My back is nice and toasty, so good. we're good. We're good. Um, you know, the first thing I noticed before we even talk about the vegan dishes or, or the bottomless drinks is the portion sizes. Look at these things. This is great. Yeah, we have pretty fair um, portions going on, so we'd like you guys to go, go home with a little extra. So, okay. um, you know, we just like to do it big at Taverna, so. A absolutely. Okay, talk about your vegan dishes, Leo. Well, so um, we were a little, we had a vegan concern in the, in the community. Everybody sure. was wondering if we were still doing vegan food. Uh, the answer is absolutely yes. Um, it took me a little bit to roll out new menus. We wanted to do it right. So we created more, um, more plates for everybody to share. Obviously we have the vegan katsu moko, um, zucchini, diablo, uh, Mediterranean Mediterranean nachos, all the way up to our lovely uh, mushroom scampi. Um, we have a wide variety of mushrooms from Desert Moon. Um, they provide us with a whole bunch of different variety of mushrooms, and I like to incorporate that. I'm a mushroom freak. You're a mushroom so, guy. Yes, I am a mushroom guy. <laughs> uh, we also incorporated purple risotto um, from all the way from our risotto rice, uh, purple risotto rice to our desserts that's coming out next week. Okay. So. Um, we're just doing big things all the time. Um, it just takes a little bit longer than expected. All right, yeah, no problem. Uh, you know, we have time. Right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, Alan, talk about the uh, bottomless brunch cocktails and what else is involved with that. All right, we've been kicking that off. It started on weekends and we're doing it pretty much all week now. Oh, cool. Uh, so for the bottomless, uh, for 20 bucks, you can go mimosas of various flavors, uh, Aperol spritzes, Bloody Marys with my own signature Bloody Mary mix, okay. uh, sangrias, red and white with rotating flavors weekly, all of that. You can just drink as much as you want for 20 bucks. Not we bad. might have some time constraints on that, but. Okay, <laughs> all right, but still a good, a good fair amount of time to, yeah. uh, to do that. You said you have your own personal Bloody Mary mix? Is that? Oh yeah, yeah, oh. We're, we're not using pre-mix anything. It's oh, okay, <laughs> all right, very good. And you said it's every day now? Yes. What, so what, uh, what, when does brunch go to? 4 p.m. Oh, it goes till four, okay. Very good. Remind everybody where you are in the Arts District. Uh, 1031 South Main Street, corner of uh, Charleston and Main Street. All right. Looking good. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. Got the full screen up with your information and phone number and website. All right, guys, we'll go back to the studio. We are back in our outdoor kitchen with the guys from Taverna Costera. We have Alan, we have Leo, and uh, I, I was just out here. You guys already have new stuff to talk about. It's amazing what's going on over there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, new cocktail. That's right. A, a, a great cocktail for us. Yes, and we're calling it a new kind of kick. Uh, it's based on uh, a, few, a few variations I've made over the years. I made this as a bespoke custom request for a customer. They loved it so much, they ordered multiples. Okay. I made one for the staff to try and everybody insisted I put it on the menu. Isn't it crazy how things like, well, like a, almost just like, you never thought in a million years that's how you would come up with a cocktail. Right. Yeah, it's great. It, it's how it works and you don't often see a cocktail with avocado in it either. Ooh, uh, I like it. We're <laughs> one of the few places I know of doing it. And it's fun because it gives a great creamy consistency to a drink that uh, normally would work as a, in place of a cream or egg whites that you'd use in other type cocktails. Yeah. So it's wonderful uh, to have that creaminess from avocado mixed in with uh, just a, you know, a bit of an herbal gin with strong botanicals from the Mediterranean, rosemary, thyme, basil, uh, has chartreuse, a French monk made liqueur, also Ooh. strongly botanical. Uh, we sweeten it up with a bit of passion fruit as well as my homemade rosemary thyme syrup, a little bit of bitters for a touch of spice, and some citrus to cut through. From all of that, you just give it a good shake. Okay, and what's this called? This is called a new kind of kick. A new kind of kick. All That's right. That's right. Also very good. vegan. I'm, I'm yeah, liking everything. Yeah, also vegan. That's right. There's no meat product in this drink. Yeah, it's very botanical, like you said. Yeah, botanical, fruity, sweet, Almost like a health drink, uh, but 
It has its own kick, right? It has its own kick. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's simple as that. Okay. Pour into a glass. Is that the serving size? Is it more like a kind of like a shot yeah, almost? It's a, no, it's just a bit of a sipper. Okay. And you give it a little bit of a salt bay drop, touch a lime, and top it with rosemary, and that's it. All that's right. your new kind of kick, and it's delightful. I like it. Yeah. Okay, Leo, talk quickly about uh, Teacher Appreciation Month and what you guys are doing. Um, so, so it's uh, Teacher Appreciation Month, uh, as uh, you get um, free coffee with the purchase of anything, um, just to support our, our local schools. Okay, well that's excellent. Um, they work hard, they deserve it, right? Absolutely. Yeah, plus the caffeine can help too. Yeah, and we gotta deal with all these kids, so I can't do it, so we're gonna have to uh, treat them right sometimes. For sure. So. What are your new hours? Uh, we are actually going to seven days rolling out for our, uh, actually starting next week. Okay. Um, so so Monday through uh, Monday through Tuesday we'll be doing uh, our brunch deal um, 11 to 6 uh, or 11 to 4 happy hour till 6. Okay. Okay, excellent. Uh, and then real quick, again, where we can find it? Uh, 1031 South Main Street. All right, excellent. Walking for me, but yes, for other you. people. That, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Uh, okay, the uh, information is up on your screen. Taverna Costera at Main Street. All right, and we'll be right back.